It's opening night of Nice Work If You Can Get It, Broadway's newest Gershwin tuner starring Kelly O'Hara and Matthew Broderick. We're here at the Imperial Theater to celebrate 1920 style. What brings you out to Nice Work tonight? Uh, I have so many friends in the show, producing the show, directing the show, uh, that I couldn't possibly miss it. I mean, I, I, I just love this show. I love these characters. I love this music. So to get to bring Gershwin music to a 21st century audience is kind of an honor. We're thrilled to be here tonight, and we're thrilled to have, I've, I've seen the show already four or five times, so. What is it like to see Dad up there, like, you know, everyone's cheering for him? I don't know. It's fun. I mean... I think it's nice to have a dad like that, but I mean, it wouldn't matter if it was like that or not, because he's still my dad and I really love him. So are you guys all going to sit together, like throw paper airplanes or anything at each other? I hope so, because we're hoping to pull each other's hair throughout the entire performance. <laughs> we have spitballs, we're doing the whole thing. No, no, thing. they'll be gossiping. They'll be gossiping. Yeah, yeah. Kicking, no, this is very exciting. They'll be kicking. Marty this always is... kicks me really hard and no, no. get bruised. Can you imagine and... having a sister as talented? Yeah. It's yeah. unbelievable. I'm so proud. And I hear this is another triumph. What do you think is it about these Gershwin songs? I mean, they're so powerful and so classic. What is it about that? Well, it's the greatest Renaissance period in the history of America. It's the best music that was ever written. In a show like this, you're looking at the American Songbook, you know, and just so proud to know it's part of our culture. And we get to see a cast like this perform it. <laughs> So it's opening night. How are you feeling tonight? We feel. Gr I feel great. I think we all do. I mean, the audience was amazing. We've had great response. I just, it's a celebration. Absolutely. I'm a little bit of a phew factor. <laughs> I feel all right, and I haven't heard anything. And um, you know, I really enjoy the. It's a very funny show, and uh, it's such a funny script. So uh, it, it's a pleasure to do it. We had the gypsy robe this afternoon. So. That would just set us all in a good mood. But we always are, frankly. It's just been heaven the whole show. I'm kind of high, actually, uh, on life, on dramatic life. When you get home, I mean, do you just have these beautiful Gershwin songs running through your head all night? Yeah, I still do. They really have a way of being lodging in your brain. I can't stop singing them. And I'm in the show every night. It drives me a little cuckoo. Every night is a different one. Every morning is a different one. It's like what you go to bed with, you don't wake up with. It's another one. They stay with you all the time. What was the audience reaction like out there tonight? The audience reaction was just spectacular. Big laughs, big applause. But I have to say, pretty much every show we've done, it's been the same reaction. They stop and applaud and scream like seven or eight times throughout the show. Sometimes in the audience you hear, oh. You know, like, they recognize the song and then they see how it's used in the story. If you had a bootlegging name in the 1920s, what bootlegging name would you pick? I think it would be Joey. Studs Lonigan. Mikey Bourbon. Stan the Man. Rex Avalon. Harriet the Horrible. Leonardo DiCaprio beard. I'll take that too. I'd be Leonardo DiCaprio. Reverend Brown Legs. Kick-ass Kelly's... Kicking back some drinks. The floozy is the first thing that comes to mind. Go to the dock at midnight, look for floozy. What is it about these old-fashioned, kind of big, glittery Broadway musicals that people just love so much? Well, they're, f they're familiar. Uh, they, they feel great. They feel comfortable. Hi. Kathleen Marshall and myself made the show to give people a great night out on Broadway. It's old-fashioned, old-school Broadway with a modern twist to it.